how do we know the man of sin is the Antichrist? And why would we have this uh, this term, the son of perdition? Yes. Well, the son of perdition is uh, in referring to the fact that the Antichrist, however you're going to explain it theologically, he is going to rise out of the abyss. He's someone who is currently in hell and he's going to be on earth. Now, I put this together by the fact that there's going to be a living human politician in the last days who's going to receive a mortal wound to the head. And when he dies, he's laying in state and his soul has gone to hell. When his soul rises back up and reunites with his body for the satanic resurrection of the Antichrist, it's not his original soul that comes back into his body. It's the resurrection of one of the former Roman emperors, one of the five. And, you know, some people have speculated this is Nero. Well, I don't engage much in the speculation of which Roman emperor this is, but we know it's going to be a very ungodly Roman emperor, a son of the abyss or a son of perdition. It's going to come back in. He's going to wow the world. Someone who has been long ago uh, uh, placed in, if you will, in, in, in the place that a son of perdition would go. That's right, exactly. And then what's also interesting, how we know this man, this man of sin is the Antichrist, because we read later on in verse 4, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sits in the temple of God, demonstrating himself or declaring himself to be God. So this, of course, takes us immediately to a few other passages in the scriptures, which we know is a reference to the Antichrist. Now, to put this together, and this is very, very interesting to me because it's current. Yes. You know, everybody, people are talking about the rapture of the church right now. I'm seeing ads on television, on commercial television for books uh, that, that's, uh, that are saying it's not going to be long. You know, the, the, the rapture could occur any day now, and, and it's getting people's attention. So we're living in that kind of an atmosphere right now. The very atmosphere which is spoken to here in in Second uh, Thessalonians chapter two, uh, we don't want people to be confused, uh, says Paul. We want people to be certain about the concept of the rapture. Absolutely. And by the way, uh, you have written a book called Apostasia. Yes. You have thought about this a lot, <laughs> perhaps a lot more than anybody else. And uh, we, I, I like the way that you you gave life to verse three here. We have this son of perdition. <clears throat> He's opposing and exalting himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. And then you pointed out that he is actually going to sit in the temple of God and and announce that he is God. That's exactly right. This is amazing. 